Broadcasting live from sunny Southern California, where the weather's always better than where you are right now. Welcome to Arcadium Studios. I have an amazing utility for any of you guys that actually broadcast on Twitch or any other live streaming service and like to broadcast or play on Fightcade. If you're running tournaments, if you've seen um, Monday Night Fightcade, I oftentimes have problems updating player names. Sometimes it's just blank and the fight starts and you don't know who's playing. Sometimes you forget to update names and then the old names of the old players and people are confused. are like, well, is this a new match? Who's playing? Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, what Root User has done is he's tapped into Fightcade to extract player names of a match that is currently being spectated or played. I'm going to go through how to how you can get it, how you can download it, and how to use it. It's very simple, but uh, there are some things that you need to know and need to do. So let's go to uh, trollcoinbot.com. That's where you're going to go to download this utility. All you have to do is go to trollcoinbot.com, go to the downloads tab, and you'll see here what's available. The Fightcade stream utility version 0.3. So we're going to download it, take you to a mega, uh, mega link, and you'll download it through your browser. It's 26 megs. You don't need to to go with the um, the mega uh, mega utility or whatever, unless you're into that sort of thing. It's about yeah 26.7 megs. Downloads very quickly. As soon as the download is done, I already have one, so I'm not going to save it. So I'm going to cancel this. But I already have the download. If we go back to this area, you'll see exactly what he's written. So this tool will create two text files, player1.txt and player2.txt. Very important. Those two will just simply contain the username of the players engaged in the match you are spectating or you yourself participating in. This is extremely useful for streamers that wish to place the usernames in a larger custom font on their stream, anywhere you want, using XSplit or OBS. Instead of having to manually update your shit, you don't even have to worry about that stuff anymore, and it's such a time saver. Now let's go to the actual file and see what we have. I've already unzipped it because I've done this before. It comes in a zip file, uh, Night Fight Cade Stream Utility. Right-click unzip. Then you open it up, and you'll find a folder, change log, readme file, and the actual utility itself. If you open up the readme file, if you get a missing DLL error, you'll need to install the VC2015 redistributable files in the redist folder. And that redist folder is right there, as you can see. I did get that error because I don't have a lot of stuff installed. You click on the redistributable. Um, I talked to Root. He said x86, the 32-bit, will do. I've already done this, but we'll do it again just so you guys can see what's going on. So this is uh, Microsoft Visual C++ 2015, redistributable. It says repair uninstall because I've already installed it. So you know what? I'm not even going to go through this process. So we'll close this down. But basically, it's very quick. It takes literally a minute to do. When you open this the first time, there's not going to be that player one and player two. It's going to ask you, of course, publisher cannot be verified. Uncheck this box, obviously. If not, it's going to ask you this all the time. But come on, man. It's root. It's legit. Once you do this, you get like a DOS style window. I'll spectate Lord Infamous versus Turtle Zealot. And then we'll see what happens. So I'm spectating now. The window's showing up. You guys hear the music coming up any second now in the background. Boom. There you go, right? See what happened? Oh, no, you can't see what happened because it's not in window. But here, see what just happened there? Um, Turtle Zealot versus Lord Infamous, player one, player two, right? They've been added to this to this window. Obviously, nothing's going to show up on the broadcast uh, setup because you haven't actually set it up yet. So in order to set that up, let's close this down and let's set it up right now. In order to add this in XSplit, in OBS, it's different, but in XSplit, you have to install the legacy title, titler. You want it to update from a remote URL. So remote text update, change the refresh interval to one second. Remote URL, here's where the important stuff comes. See over here where it says now player one and player two, these are text files. So I'm gonna right click on player one. I'm gonna open up the properties just so I can get the full file location. I'm gonna copy that file location. I'm gonna click cancel. And then I'm going to paste that in there. That's what we want to pull. And then I'm going to do forward slash and then player1.txt. 
Okay, so that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, boom, done. You'll see here now, if we resize this, Turtle Zealot, which is player one. So you do then the same thing with player two, and you insert this into your, uh, your overlay, your scene. Now, I've already done this. I just wanted to show you guys specifically how to do it. So I'm going to go to our Fightcade window right here, and I'll spectate a few matches. Turtle Zealot versus Lord Infamous, right? That was the last match we spectated. I'm going to switch it up now, too. I'm going to sp uh, spectate Midi versus Coca-Cola. You click on that. Midi versus Coca-Cola. Automatic. I didn't do anything. Isn't that fucking crazy? Yeah. And player one and player two are always correct. Right? So there's no confusion. It's brain dead fight Kate spectating for broadcasters. And I want to just once again thank Mr. Bitto Bites so very much for this. He's created this uh, utility. Uh, basically because he kept uh, watching uh, Monday Night Fight Kate and, you know, he kept... Yeah, he started getting migraines because I wasn't doing my job. And he was like, dude, this guy needs some help, you know. Where I'm like, who's who's in the first player side? Who's in the second player side? And I, I want to be sure because 5,000 troll coins, that's a lot of money. You know, I want to know who the guy is on the, on the left playing? side. On the right side because yeah. I've come here so many times and you and you... And you, and you you, you typed in the wrong name and the wrong side. And that messes me up because yeah. I'm betting on the wrong guy. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, this is hurting my pocket. It's hurting my troll coin pocket here. Next time you're watching Monday Night Fight Cave, you can rest assured that you will never have to worry about, am I actually watching who I think I'm watching?